we've talked probably twice since uh since i stopped doing the drip so i only catch yeah. up with you occasionally we're both so busy so tell yeah, me about yeah. how life has been it's been good man i mean like any, i mean any I, be, any lovers i mean it comes and goes okay. nothing serious but you know just stuff after shows you know because i'm doing more comedy shows comedy shows are great and then people come and they're there but yeah i don't know if i can do that anymore i'm see that do you is get actually them something to I've been working sign on. waivers no waivers dude they're so chill they're so happy they're so nice honestly like i'm so good i have a good radar for someone who's gonna be a psycho but then i am too like uh someone just recently texted me like saying like you don't you don't, you're not texting me enough <laughs> You to know, focus you know, on work or... Yeah, yeah. And it's like something that I got to learn. And I do all this loving kindness stuff. And I just, for relationships, every time... Even when people ask me, I always feel like, okay, who has time for this? It is... My work is my, you know, I'm here to do the, mm. I'm here to do stuff like this. Like, do stand up, do like, you know, even like working on the TV show that I'm working on, stuff like that. I don't even bring it up. And, pe and, and like a couple of my friends are like, I think you're, I think you're cold-blooded. Like, I think you need to reignite some love in your heart for an wow. um, intimate relationship because it's just like, it's, all... it's just, I don't, I don't care anymore. Why, why don't you care? Don't you? Well, I, I don't know. I think it happens to a, a, a lot of us. Like uh, a lot of guys get older and then they're like, cause you know what happens when you're young, your horniness is so high <laughs> that it almost hijacks part of your brain and it makes you do all this extra shit. Like you're excited <laughs> and then you're too scared and you don't know things yet. Then you get older and it becomes easier so that makes it less exciting. And then it becomes like um, like something that you've done a bunch of times versus mm -hmm. something that other people are like, you know, you have to remind yourself, some people are going through this. You know, like you dated someone, you have to like reach out and be like, are you okay? How's it going? You wanna talk, you wanna hang out, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, like whereas it, it, it doesn't even occur, it, it, like I have to retrain my brain to be like, you need to talk to people more. Even, not only intimate, like even guys, I don't call anyone. Like even you, you know, sometimes I'll see people and they're like, they're like, how after you, you must call CoffeeZilla every week. And I'm like, no, I no? have to reach out to you. Yeah, I know. We're both, both times like, I've reached out to you. You've never reached out yeah. to me. I know. Yeah, I should reach out more though. I should. You should. And I think about it. Yeah, yeah, I should. But it's a, it's a, it's a weird. But it's a skill. It's no, no, it's, 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 a, it's really a skill. To, to it's reach something out. that, uh, that they teach you. They learn, they teach in loving kindness that yeah. you should do it. And it's like something that I tell people and I tell myself, it's like something I'm working on. Well, you know, like maintaining friendships as an adult is work. Like yeah. that's what they don't tell you is like, if you want friends as an adult, you better be prepared to spend, and it's not a ton of time, but it's kind of this constant, you have to just kind of water the plant. It's like watering a plant. You just go every couple months, you water the plant, whatever. Um, yeah. Otherwise you end up alone. <laughs> you just end up by yeah. yourself. You know, like that's what happens to a lot of men actually. And a lot of men are going through this like kind of loneliness crisis too, you know, where they're just like, they, my dad was like this. He just wouldn't talk to anyone, wouldn't keep in touch. And I have a lot of his habits too. But um, but it's good that I'm doing art that forces me in front of people. Like mm -hmm. the fact that I'm doing stand up or I'm doing this, yeah. it is an interaction built into the job side. But yeah. Like, I feel like I you could get different. very, you could get isolated if you didn't have that. Yeah, then I'd be too isolated. Like I know guys, and my dad was like this. He got weird. He just didn't talk to anyone after a while. Yeah. And then after a while he was just like, I'm not going there. Why do guys, like it's a guy, it, it's, some girls go through this, but I feel like it's a pretty gendered problem. Um, Women know when better. You get, when you get old, you yeah. have no friends, you don't keep up in touch with anybody, and you just kind of like, it's not good. Yeah, it's not good for you. You're you're here to enjoy life. So, you're here to so like love life. Let for the viewers at home. So comedy helps you doing the meditation helps you because it just kind of forces interaction. I think that is key just for guys. At, well, I'll say for me, I have to talk for me. It's so general to say guys for me, I have trouble hanging out with guys unless we're having, doing an activity. Like yeah. girls can just hang out. They just go, Hey, let's talk. Or at least from what I've seen, like they'll just go, they can just go to a coffee shop forever, whatever. For me, I need to kind of have an excuse to hang out with a friend and then we talk and we have a great time but it's yeah. like hey we have to go golfing or what whatever like gotta go on do something yeah man i mean have you ever been in that situation where like I, this happens to me all the time too where i'll tell someone like someone will be like i want to go dancing or whatever and then you tell them and they're like oh it's too much work now it's like no if we're going dancing like, nah, it's, it's gonna fun. be a lot of work now yeah it's, it's no, it's supposed to be for fun. Yeah, it, but people forget it. People just forget that like going out and hanging out with someone. It's not a chore. It's you sure you have to set the time, yeah. but then you're going to have fun. And it's something that you almost forget once you stop doing it. It's like a skill. 
Like you start atrophying that. That's it. Ha it happens, and like you almost have to. For some people, you have to turn it into work to 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 get the. This is what I told you. I said, "Hey, let's do the podcast." But my intention was, let's just talk. Let's hang out. Yeah, yeah. But if I don't schedule it almost as work, then it's sometimes I think like, oh, it's less important. Yeah, yeah. So I've and it is work. It's very important for the culture to hear this. But but no. But the reason you do it, like like I've started projects with my brother. And we'll just yeah. do, pro but the projects that don't matter at all, like they'll, you, they'll probably never see the light of day, but I start Sick. the projects almost. So we spend time together. Wow. You know, like, it's like, yeah, it's that's like, good. it's an excuse. It's an excuse. And we pretend that, that it's important for the project, but like, actually it's let's spend some time together. That's very healthy, man. That's actually so much better. I tried to get just dance and my nephews won't play it and my niece won't play it. <laughs> so you're I just a play dancer. with her. You're Hey, I've seen your moves. You're a hell of a dancer. I mean, it's good. Oh, oh, and I go dancing minimum, minimum once a week. I go dancing. You know, it's I, like a rule. And I tell other guys too. I'm like, you have to go dancing once a week. I'm like, well, I'll see guys out comics because the comics do this. They're already like miserable and lonely and they don't want to hang out with anyone. They become alcoholics. They get depressed. I see guys. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Then you have to go dancing. I'm like, you don't have anything in the morning. You have to go dancing. It's good. It's good. It well, is your karma. It's good that you have that activity. A lot of guys, a lot of people, I shouldn't say guys. I should say people like a lot of people. No, have girls. Girls well, seem like they know better though. It, it seems like they just not stay all though. There, there are some people who stay like who get quiet and you know. Um, I think introverts kind of fall for this a little faster than extroverts do. So crypto rich says crypto turned me into that. Lost track of the real world. That's a real thing. And wow. then it's a hat trick says remote work exacerbates that so much. It's true. Yeah. Yes, hanging out with friends for me is basically work, but I know I have to do it, and it's always worth it. Huey says. Huey, true. Okay, good. Yeah, so I, I mean, a lot of people feel this way, clearly. Yeah, yeah. Huey says, how do I go dancing? Where to go? Oh. Honestly, you you might have to do a couple of weeks of research. You got to go find your spots. I have, if you're in Toronto, I go to Chocolate Groove on Wednesdays. It's like this hippie Shock. dance party. Oh my God, dude. I love it. It's a great party. It's like a hippie dance party. They do it outside. So they serve these cacao drinks, oh, whatever. Oh, that's so funny. Outdoors on the beach here. It's amazing. But dude, last time I went, honestly, because I'm there and I'm telling people about my meditation show. Dude, every single <laughs> You're person selling I people to, on the meditation show at the thing. Dude, every single person there is selling like I don't want to say scam. I don't want to say scam. But like a $5,000 course. Like like you know all the all those garage quick schemes that we reviewed? The, everyone there one time one week I went, everyone was in like a oh yeah, sign up for my tantric meditation. And uh, if you and then you go to the website, you're like, "Oh my god, you got you got all the levels." Dude, this girl, I got on a sales call with this girl. She goes before she's closing, before she's telling me the price, she yeah. goes, before I tell you the price, I just want you to know that I feel very vulnerable to even tell you the price because <laughs> I feel very vulnerable. Wow. And th throughout the call, she would be like, I would tell her, she was like, tell me what you're doing, whatever. I tell her like I'm working on a TV show, whatever. She goes, uh, she was like, uh, my pelvic floor is tingling. It, it, it be excited. <sighs> Dude, she's, she's so excited to, I was like, I got to the end of the call. I'm like, baby, that's a banger sales script. I love that. And she's like, oh, okay. And I was like, I'm not going to pay $5,000. $5,000? Uh, US? Uh, in Canada? We're in Canada. Why are you charging $5,000 US? It You're killing me with the US. pelvic floor. That's so funny. She didn't Dude, say she that. Said, she said my pelvic floor is tingling. <laughs> and she was, I'm she was, surprised she was like, you didn't buy it. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. No way, dude. No way. Your cheapness overcame your horniness. See, you are growing older. I, dude, there was a yeah, time. I'm growing older. There might have been when a I was time. 25, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. When I was 25, I could have, she could have got, you know, either her or a pickup artist could have gotten me That's on like terrible. a $2,000 question. I was like, I was like, baby, with your sales script, 10 years ago, you would have had me. <laughs> if I had, if I was making money, if I was like an engineer, I had a real job, yeah, you'd have me. I'd say, what the hell? Let me try this shit out. <laughs> she's, she's hot too. And I was like, good job. But at the same time, I'm like, what is this? Even, even in the spiritual game. The get rich quick quick scams are all over it. The cult shit, you know. Yeah, the the law of attraction. What do the the people want to know if you still talk to Ryan Long? I see again. I don't keep in touch with anyone, so I haven't talked to him in a long time. I will just message online every now and then. I mean, he's asked for a trial period. <laughs> I mean, should you stay in touch with Ryan Long? No, I haven't seen him. No in a while. pelvic floor is worth five thousand dollars. And the moral of the story is, you are loved because you are loved. Such is the nature of love and kindness. Okay? So now that I've done my karmas, make sure you do your karmas. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and sign up for meditation. Ascension is upon us, foolish. Sign up for meditation immediately. Ha!
Am I still here? 